I'm not for the first time here, but every time we are here, we are very, very excited, all of us. Because, you know, Israel, unfortunately, is still surrounded by many, many enemies. Many, many enemies that don't accept our existence here. Even while we are trying these days to resume the negotiations with the Palestinians, they are not willing to accept Israel as a Jewish state. And I think that your arrival today is the best answer for them. Israel is a Jewish state and will remain forever a Jewish state. Every day while we are praying three times, we are praying about moving to Zion. And Zionism, it means first and foremost to come and to settle here and to live here in Israel. It's very important that we are having all of that support from the Jewish communities in all over the world in the diaspora. But to really help Israel to flourish is to be here with us. And while you are making this move and you are coming here to Israel, you are helping first yourself, but you are helping every Jews in all over the world that knows that he has a place, he has a shelter. If God forbid something will happen, he will have the place to come and to settle here with his people here in Israel. And for that, I would like to thank you very, very much. About a year ago, when Tony Joshua and the Yal came to me and talked to me about the option to bring those new Olim to come to settle in the Negev and the Galilee, I told them while they are coming here, it means Zionism. But while they are moving to the Galilee and the Negev, it might be an extra Zionism. I've been there to New York about six months ago with my staff. I talked to you, I talked to some other groups in order to convince you to come and to settle in the Galilee and in the Negev. When I was here about a year ago, it was only one, about 20-something, a single guy, a professional in ice ski, that moved to Metula because there is a site there that he can exercise. But this group today, 20% of you are moving to live in the Galilee, and for that I really would like to thank you. 20% of you are going there to the Galilee. And in the year of 2000, we are going to have 600 Jews that came through Nefesh Ben Nefesh, that moved to the Negev and the Galilee, and it's a huge number, but it's only the start. Thank you very much for that. Of course, all the other 80 that are moving to Jerusalem or to Ranana or to every other place, you are more than welcome here to Israel. I would like to tell you that you are moving to a different country. You are now among Jews. It will be so different when you find out what is going here in Rosh Hashanah, especially in Yom Kippur, while there is, will be no cars in the street. Everything is closed, silence. All the Jews are dressed in white, are going to the synagogues. It will be so different from what you faced in your places you came from. And while you are here, you are sure that you are among your families. You arrived here as a new Olim, but you are not you for the state of Israel. Because your grand, 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 grandparents were here in Israel 2,000 years ago. We had a flourish country. Unfortunately, the Romans distracted the state of Israel. But these days, while you are coming back, you will face some difficulties. It won't be so easy, but it will be much easier than the others that are moving from home to a different or a foreign place. You are moving from the United States to your homeland here in Israel. And I would like to wish you happy, happy New Year. Happy coming for all of us. Rosh Hashanah. Shana Tova Lechulam.